Hello my kings and queens and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in this video, I will be sharing something with you guys that I am very ashamed of. As someone who advocates for clear skin and healthy routines and fresh faces and just makeup in general, I can't believe I am saying this. I have been using um, a beauty product for way longer than it should be used. I just want to go ahead and say beforehand, I know, you know, the precautions of makeup brushes and applicators, and I do keep all of my products clean. After every single video that I film that involves makeup, I always make sure I go and wash my brushes, I clean out my bag often and I also clean like wipe down my products and things like that. I always keep my products clean between faces either, whether it's mine or someone else's I always keep my products clean but sometimes you can keep something really clean but it just gets old and it has to be rid of. Everything has a beginning and everything has an end so today I will be cutting open this beauty blender that I have had since I started makeup. So just a little bit of history with this beauty blender. Um, I know that the beauty blender brand has its own, you know, beauty blenders, but they're each $20. And so starting off with my makeup um, in 2016, I did not have that type of money for beauty blenders, especially if you need like more than one to do a complete look for different things. So I bought a beauty blender off Amazon for 99 cents. I have to say it worked really well and I only had one, so I used it for multiple functions, which means I had to wash it a lot, but it always got washed and it was always clean. It is old now and um, 2016, that was <laughs> three years ago. Actually four, since we're in 2020 now, that was four years ago. So I decided today that I will be cutting open this beauty blender right here. As you see, um, it is kind of dirty because it has makeup on it from being in the bed, but it has like rips in it and it's just very old and dingy. I feel so bad for keeping it like this. Um, it's small right now because it has not been wet. So I'm just going to cut it down the center with a little clefts in it. Oh my gosh, I can't. Okay, so we're just going to cut it. I'm going to give you guys a closer angle. Alright, so here we go. Here's the beauty blender. And I'm just going to... Oh, it's actually kind of hard to get into. Oh my gosh! Okay. Oh my gosh. As you can see the inside, it's very, very pink because this is the shade that it actually was when I got it. Um, and now that you see, like, it's very dingy now. Just look on this camera. Look at the big difference. So yeah, this is how it's looking. Oh my gosh. That is crazy. And this is just so dingy. I'm so disgusted. Oh, yeah, this video is pretty short because all I had to do was cut it and show you guys. But not only was this a really good working beauty blender that I had, but also it got the job done for a lot of looks. And I guess I kind of just wanted to hold on to it because it was literally one of the first things that I purchased. It's really crazy just to know that that was like one of the first things. It's kind of sad to let it go, but... We're bigger and better. We got this cute little baby here, which I just used, so don't judge. That has makeup on it, but. So as you guys know, I had that breakout on my skin and I was not able to use um, makeup for a while because my skin was like very bad and I don't know what it was breaking out from. But I found out it was from this concealer that I had been applying from the beauty supply that was like $2 and it was breaking out my skin. So I went to Sephora today, got matched for new foundation and concealer and purchased both Born This Ways um, that you'll see in my YouTube, uh, Instagram videos, I'm sorry, that I posted. So it's just crazy to see the progression of how I've changed and become a be better a youtuber and makeup artist thank you guys for watching this video if you enjoyed it give it a big old thumbs up make sure you subscribe to my channel to become a king or a queen um comment down below r.i.p cc's beauty blender um also i have some really exciting news for you guys 
So the first piece of news is that I will be doing a giveaway once my channel hits 10,000 subscribers. And basically it will be a TikTok giveaway, but it's for YouTube. So when you subscribe to this channel, which you should probably have already done because I gave you two chances to do so. And once I get to 10,000 subscribers, which is like almost double what I have now, I will be giving away a TikTok t-shirt, a little ring light for your phone when you're making your TikToks. I will also be signing your TikTok shirt and I will be giving a big, big shout out on both Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, YouTube, and most importantly, TikTok. Also, subscribe to this channel, like this video, and comment down below done when you are done. And in the next video, I will be shouting out the person from this video. And the last piece of news that I have is, drumroll please, I will be attending VidCon this year. I'm so, so excited to meet you guys. I'm going as a creator, so I will get to do some panels. I'll get to hang out with other TikTokers, and I'm just so, 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 so happy to be going. Um, comment down below if you will be attending VidCon this year so that I can meet you because I would love to take pictures, make TikToks, and all that crazy stuff with you guys. I'll also be making sure that I vlog or, you know, keep up every single day if I have the time because I just want to document every moment of this. This is going to be a growth for my channel and just for my life so I'm so excited to see you guys in June. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! Say goodbye Beauty Blender! <laughs>